What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, a 3D platformer developed by Rareware for the Nintendo 64 in 1998. It was later re released for the Xbox 360 in 2008 and then re-released yet again for the Xbox One as part of the Rare Re Rewind in 2015. We are playing on the Xbox 360 version, so it's going to be a little bit different than how probably some people played during their childhood, but nonetheless, this is widely regarded as one of the best 3D platformers ever made. And since I'm done with the 3D Mario games, the next step would be to continue the trend in a new venture. And so we are doing that today. So we are going to go ahead and start our adventure. So let's go ahead and start a game. By the bench, who's the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me! Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad! Nicer beauty can't be had! Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind! Ah! Well, we'll see about that! <laughs> it's gonna be horrifying to be living next to that and seeing that every morning. This world is weird. Hi there, Tootie! What are you going to do today? My big lazy brother wakes up. We're going on adventure. Uh, 
Doesn't seem like he's waking up anytime soon. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there, in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody help. Banjo, wake up now. Oh, what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. <laughs> Poor Kazooie. So, yes, we finally get a chance to look around and explore. Going to be a little weird having to go through this with a 360 controller, but I'll manage somehow. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where'd she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous. So you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. Well, considering I've never played this game before, I guess we can accept this training. Bottle, shut up! I'm hitting A! We'd like some help, Bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon. This is gonna be fun doing all the voices of all these characters. I can already tell. Okay, so I can do a very short little hop that's kind of pathetic. Uh, oh right, I have to press X. Already forgot. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyone home? Oh, hello again. Uh, let's start with the camera controls. They're on the right stick. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap right or left bumper. Move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all worm breath? No, hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next molehill. You know what I find weird is the fact that, like, Bottle seems to know who, like, Gruntilda is. And I mean, why wouldn't he considering, like, her lair has her face all over it? But it's like, how did you mistake her for Banjo at the very beginning? That just seems weird. Now, ah, well, whatever. More tutorials. Huh. Your jump could do with some help. Huh. What do moles know about jumping? More than you. Press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Okay. Come on, feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly. I know it. Jump. Then press A again in the air for a double jump. Okay. That seems simple enough. That's it. We're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one. 
First, you must stand like this. What, wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold the right or left trigger, then press A for the mighty flap flip jump. Ow. Okay, that seems simple enough. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. Okay. It seems like a pretty basic jump. Okay, and then I can go up here and... Hey! I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Okay, well that's convenient. So if I can get six of those honeycomb things, I get more life. Yay! All right, next molehill. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Oh, sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo. I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. Use the left stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater. Press X to dive. Go on, give it a try. Okay. So, I mean, I can just swim normally. I can hit A to get out, and X to dive. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs, and Winged Wonder can press X to use her wings. Okay, so X seems to be to go faster underwater, whereas A is more just subtle movements. Okay, this seems a lot more manageable than the 3D Mario swimming mechanics. Oh boy, no matter what game I was in, those were always a pain. And, ooh, a honeycomb piece. All right, let's see if we can get this. Um, similar, I should probably mention this now. Uh, similar to my uh, Mario Let's Plays. All right, another honeycomb piece and a trophy. Uh, I will be trying to go for 100%. I usually do that for the 3D platformers. Look out for me, I'm an extra life. So, I will be trying to get all the collectibles, or at least as many as I can. I know that the worlds tend to be quite a bit huge, so whether or not I'll do them all in one go is another question entirely. But, I do intend to try to complete everything. So... Or at the very least, collect everything. I'm not sure about getting everything. Hey, Banjo, I hope you're all right with this. I'm not. Tell me about flying, Root Muncher. Not yet. Banjo, jump into a tree, then use the left stick to climb up or down. Okay, seems simple enough. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. Ooh, like that. That seems like an excellent thing to climb. Are they going to give me enough honeycomb things in order to, like, completely fill up my life? Like, give me an extra, I guess, honeycomb container if we're going to go with, like, Zelda terms. They might just give me that all in this little tutorial area. Okay. Well, there's another mole hell, so let's go ahead and talk to Bottle some more. My beak barge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some, like, short stuff. Hold the right or left trigger, then press X for a powerful beaky barge. I really like Kazooie. Kazooie's all right. See, Banjo? She's useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. Oh, Kazooie. Oh, hey, there's another one. Hey, another honeycomb piece. Okay, where have I not been? Okay, that's back home. And there's another molehill over here. I do apologize if this seems to be a bit slow, but these are just the basic moves that I'm going to need for the rest of the game. So, it's probably in my best interest to learn these. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press X when standing still 
We're moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. I don't want to hit a carrot. He looks adorable. Do I have to? All right, I have to. I'm sorry, Mr. Carrot. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. What the? Um, um. Okay, I was moving too fast. I was just bouncing off of it. Now try my fearsome mole roll or whatever. I want to learn how to fly now. Roll by running and pressing X. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. Oh, an onion. Okay, so that explains why the carrot wasn't going down. Bullseye, once more. Stop rolling, I feel sick. Sorry, Kazooie, but I got to. It's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. It better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the red tat wrap by jumping and pressing X in the air. Now where's Collywobble? It's a f ah! It's a piece of cauliflower. Okay. Ah, so that's what it is. It's with only jumping once. Mm, not bad for other face. Give me another ball, guys. Okay, so that's pretty simple. And hey, another one. Oh. That's it. You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. Doing these voices is really fun. Still, I'm missing one of the honeycombs, so... Let's see. Um, let's see. Well, there's an extra life. Where can I find another honeycomb? Well, maybe it's in Banjo's house. I mean, who knows? It might be. Let me check. Uh, is there a honeycomb piece in here? Well, let's see. There's Bottle. There's Banjo. There's Kazooie. There's Tootie. There's a fish. No, I'm not seeing. I see an island. But I'm not seeing any honeycomb pieces, and that is not the way out. All right, I guess it's time to explore a little bit. Uh, we are getting pretty close to the end of the episode, but let's see if I can make it to the top of Spiral Mountain. And then... Oh, hey. Well, that just recovers life. Mmm, I'm sticky tasty honey energy. Okay. It probably is on top of Spiral Mountain where the last of these honeycomb pieces are. Because, yeah, because there was one over there. So... Yeah, they aren't all strictly from Bottles' explanations. So there's probably one, or maybe it's down here. With the swimming mechanic. It's a good thing I found that. And yeah, I was exactly right. All right then, so that's an extra piece of life. Awesome. Um, let's, Banjo, Banjo, Banjo. There we go. Okay, so now that I've had trouble with the water, I guess that makes sense because, I mean, that was the one... That was the one thing that I learned that I didn't get a honeycomb piece on, so that makes sense where that was located. And here's Bottles' molehill. Hey, Bottles. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. You sure are. Show us the way, Bottle Boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. All right. So with that, we've pretty much learned all the basic moves of the game. Hooray! However, I do think that will do it for this episode. Just... Not too much in terms of action, just getting my feet wet and learning the basic controls of the game. We're gonna need to learn the basic controls if we want to succeed. After all, we're not some... 
bunch of people who just rush in in the very beginning and then complain part way through where you go how do you do things and skip over all the dialogue and tutorials because that's just dumb so next time on let's play banjo kazooie we're gonna head into gruntilda's lair and see what we can do about rescuing tootie so until next time everyone take care